every hustler have a downtime when you're trying right. to realign shit, trying to figure it out. And I think Master P just went through that. I'm not dealing with movies. I'm not dealing with music. I'm going to product. Right. Yeah, yeah. And he hit with the rap snacks, and now he running with Snoop with the Snoop loop. You look at Walmart, Target, mm -hmm. uh, Albertsons, your mom and pop stores, everywhere. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, uh, I want to ask you also about uh, Kevin Miller. Yeah. I've been asking everybody about Kevin because Kevin was the... That was the whole movement when, when P was coming out with TRU and, and, and No Limit. You'll right. hear him say, my little brother Kevin Miller, rest in peace. Body, my body. little brother Kevin Miller, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Young nigga. <laughs> he was body body. So he would say that all the time. He was body body. And he would keep, you know, every, you know, that, that uh, uh, my, miss my homies and all that. Hey, smile for my homie Kevin Miller, my boy ran with Right. Like, did you ever know him or see him in Cali when he was living? I knew of him through his uncle. You feel what I'm saying? Through your uncle. Hey, so your uncle was over there. He knew, what was your uncle's name? Bruce. He's still around? Nah, nah he did nah, too. He, he did too. too. Yeah, yeah. So Bruce used to be, he a little older. Yeah, Bruce was the head of that clique that, that Master P and Kevin them come under. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he was a part of that Tuesday crew. If you hear Master P, you always talking to Tuesday crew. That's who Bruce was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know Kevin through, you know, his uncle and stuff. You feel mm -hmm. me? But... You know, I say, like, if you and TRU, like, losing your brother, that'll give you, like, I ain't got no other option. It's either go to the streets and become a killer over my little brother or do something positive. And I think P channeled that hurt and did something positive for his brother. Together, my son, wanna smile and see you lay down when it's your time. Your time was up. You never seen your child, but... Wow. I mean, I'm a big fan of, of, of P. I, I, you see things, right? Like, recently... I seen some thing where people, I, I, I seen some people saying, P might not have the money, he might be broke. And and you hear this stuff, but I'll be like, what kind of broke is that? These big houses and cars and shit. Well, I mean, I want to be broke. I won't be that type you know of saying? broke. You're this is right. the kind of broke right. I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when, when you see people making these accusations, but then you see him living how he living, uh, what do you think about that? I mean, what is broke? That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's still in Calabas. He just brought a new <laughs> house. But one thing about Pete, he a hustler though. You might, every hustler have a downtime when you're trying right. to realign shit, trying to figure it out. And I think Master P just went through that. I'm not dealing with movies. I'm not dealing with music. I'm going to product. Right. Yeah, yeah. And he hit with the rap snacks. And now he running with Snoop with the Snoop loop. You look at Walmart, Target, mm -hmm. uh, Albertsons, your mom and pop stores. Everywhere. Man, I'm gonna put some Snoop Loops on this table and eat me a bowl just for the nigga, to be mm. honest with you. Yeah, I wanna, for sure. I wanna taste it. I ain't never tasted it before, but that's gonna happen. Mm. I'm gonna get me a bowl of what they, you ate some of? Nah, I ain't. I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check, check them out. I got all the snacks on my shelf back here. Yeah. I've been waiting on him to call me so I can pull them out and say, y'all, Yo, you sponsoring me? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I just got them. Cause I, one day I was like, man, I'm gonna get in here. So they sell them out here? Uh, the, I don't know. I'm gonna find me something if they in LA, wherever. I'm gonna, somebody sending me some of them. Yeah, it's called sure. Amazon. Go in there. Amazon have everything. Yeah, Amazon got it. I don't know how the hell this dude can figure all this out. What's his name? Jeff? What's mm -hmm. that? What, what? <laughs> <laughs> but so, so when you think about just uh, like all the music that do happen down there now, is there who's the hot artist? Is there any hot artists down there? Yeah, you know right. what? At the head, it's, it's currency up there at the top. Curtis is still the man. Top of yeah. the food chain. That's his city. Mm. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, we could yeah. put a stamp on it and say that's Jet Life City. I just redid the floors for what they charged the boy. I could have bought another foreign car. Life of butter love. Mm. Then under that branch, you got Rob 49. You got Yeah, YD. Rob 49. Mm. You got YD the Illis. You got Callie your Bob. You got Cole Youngin. You got mm -hmm. Treated. Like, New Orleans on fire right now. Like, we, we coming back for our position in this music. So I, I gotta ask this. I ask this every show, especially dealing with someone in New Orleans. Um, how major would it be for the city if Master P came together with Birdman for a sit down and an interview? I, I don't know. I don't. To be honest, I don't know. The that's impact never happened. It'll be it'll now because the they so. You don't think it'll never happen? Uh, nah, they're talking right now, but I don't know the impact. It could happen. 
Hmm? Yeah, they, they didn't talk. It could happen. They talking. Hmm. They already been talking because I heard they had conversation through. I don't think uh, Mr. Servon would lie to me. He told me they didn't had conversation before. Yeah, they before. talking, but how impactful when mm -hmm. they older now? That's what so I was like, wondering. They, it would have been more when they were younger. Gap. Gap. Yeah, like that generational gap. Like all those guys who was between whatever went on, they old. They living their life with their families. Like they ain't tripping about nothing. You feel me? It's like. How do you touch these youths? Now, y'all can sit down now. Y'all come together and make a powerhouse and sign some people and put some situations together. You feel me? Now, that'll change the streets. That'll change because you have to give people opportunities. Yeah, because I always feel like, you know, when I see people who've been, say you had millions and then you got caught up and you went to prison and you come back, change your life, and you're trying to educate some of these youths of how to act and how to be and stuff like that. A lot of these youth be, especially in the streets, they'll be like, who are you? You ain't got nothing right now, this, this, right. this, this, this. But these people still have, these people are still striving, these people are still going, moving up. Right. They can still educate a lot of these youngsters because they used to be in the streets back in the days. Right. So they can't, and I would think that these younger people would still listen to these people. Yes. Because of their status. Well, opportunity. Because other than that, you eating good and you telling me to change my ways while I'm starving. And then you walk off and you still eating good and I'm still right. hungry. Mm. You got to wow. give me that opportunity. But there's a lot of people, though. How can you give everybody an opportunity that See, you're trying to touch? I mean, you, it's structure. They, they put us in poverty through a plan and we could get a plan to get out of poverty. Mm -hmm. This ain't just happened overnight. They structured us to keep us there. You feel mm -hmm. me? But that's the government. When you think about... Pete or Birdman, they small compared to the government. To the government of the world, but you, we feed the hood. We take care of the hood. We inspire the hood. Yeah. Like under my watch, and I ain't gonna say like P and Baby ain't do it because they did it also, but mm -hmm. I carried the torch and put some through college and inspire some artists to become artists and actors. And you feel okay. what I'm saying? So I like, get what like you're you saying. said, when you at that height in your game, you got to get that game to somebody else to thrive and then they feed their family. Like, so you just mainly talking about the New Orleans. Right, because mm -hmm. that's that's what's affected by right. them two not getting along. Right. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between about? uptown and downtown and Cal what is the difference? I'm not from there. Uptown and you Mecca. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know what's going down. Oh. Uptown and Mecca. You're Give me the difference. What's the difference? It's the Mecca. I would swag. I would lingo. I would talk. I you would gonna influence. say that because you from there? Nah, I run with downtown. Shout out to downtown. Like I got a lot of homies downtown. You know, and I, I, I live always. downtown. Shit, when I was a kid, I grew up half and half. What about the, what's the difference between that and the West Bank? Well, I don't know. I'm interviewing people. <laughs> like, it's you know New Orleans is like every section is its own city. Like, right. everybody got different lingo. You feel right, what I'm right. saying? Like, the West Bank, they got their lingo. They do what they do. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't have, they got one project on the West Bank. And their project is shaped like a Chicago project. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's one big long building and stuff. Like, uptown, we got coatways and cuts and everything. You feel me? So on right. our side, our, our code ways is different. So I it, got a question. So Randall Watts, tell me how was he important to um, Uptown? Oh, he was important to the yo. Like that's big dog. That's what I'm talking about. Like a guy who has the influence at his height, and you ain't disrespecting nobody around him. You need something, you holler at him. You need advice, you can holler at him. He give back to the kids. He mm -hmm. makes sure. He put smiles on faces. Like Randall was one of those guys. If it's boring, he'll give a DJ, or put some jumping jacks up for the kids to go have fun and mm -hmm. just to take their mind out of poverty. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like Randall was one of the ones, though. Mm -hmm. Like rest in peace, Slim. You heard me? Rest in peace. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.